welcome to another news update brought to you by the TV News Reporting Class from UAA's Journalism and Public Communication Department. I'm Ashley Snyder. And I'm Mac Lyons. A memorial service was held last night for Mabil Mo Duar, a UAA student who was stabbed and killed Saturday. Duar was pursuing a double major in political science and English and was very active in the UAA community. He was a USUA senator and member of the Black Student Union as well as a boxer. Dewar is remembered by his peers as a natural leader and an amateur philosopher. USUA is considering changing the name of their leadership scholarship to the Mobile Dewar Scholarship for Leaders. A benefit concert being held Friday is located downstairs in the Student Union from 6 to 8 p.m. A donation of $5 is encouraged. An experimentation with a new technology by university police has been left students all over campus confused and concerned. In the past weeks, alerts were sent via email, text, phone calls, and online about two men with guns, one a UAA resident, believed to be a threat to campus. These messages are on Blackboard, uh, are from, excuse me, from Blackboard Connect, a system which allows UAA to inform anyone registered on Blackboard about potential danger. Unfortunately, students might not know what to do with this information. According to university police, Chief Rick Shell, make sure to read each alert carefully. His philosophy is better to be safe than sorry. It did create some confusion. And so the second alert was put out so that everybody understood there was no imminent danger but there was potential danger. And because the potential danger was there, we still had to put out the alert. To keep up to date on UA's safety alert, make sure your contact information current is current in Blackboard. UPD dispatch can be reached at 786-1120. A UAA campaign has been aimed for a tobacco-free campus. Here are a few responses from the people behind the campaign, as well as student feedback. Do you want to um, sign, sign a petition for a smoke-free campus? Yeah, sure. This newest campaign, brought by the Asian Pacific Islander Wellness Club, aims to make UAA a smoke-free campus. Basically, we're concerned with um, having a safe environment for students, and we think it's um, really important to protect the right of everyone to breathe clean air. Dr. Gabriel Garcia, the professor who helped launch the campaign, believes that this will not only help non-smokers, but smokers that are looking to quit. There is a resource, a free resource for helping students that may want to quit smoking, and that's the Alaska Tobacco Quit Line. And it's a uh, resource provided by the, the state of Alaska for those who are wanting to quit smoking. So, how will this affect students who do smoke? Taking like a 10 minute break and then coming back on campus to smoke, I think we just a lot more stress to go find an area to go smoke. So what's next for the campaign? For our short-term goal it's definitely to pass some kind of resolution at US UAA so we really want to work with um, senators that are interested in this policy and try to craft some sort of resolution. The organization has already gathered over 400 signatures from students and hope to get to a thousand before the semester ends. For UAA News, I'm Ashley Snyder. The UA Sports Department has gone through major changes. Stay tuned to find out the additions to the new sports arena and how the search is coming from a new head coach for the hockey team. Hey guys, thanks for coming. Are we in trouble? No, you're not in trouble. I just uh, want to set some ground rules. Like, like what? Well, remember last week when you hit Vinny in the head with the shovel? <laughs> I do not recall that. Of course not. Well, it was pretty graphic. Too graphic for the kids. <laughs> so I'm going to have to block you. I, you know, i got to make this up to you. This is Vinny's watch, and I want you to have it. You deserve no, it. Thank you. That's really not necessary. No, no. Come here. Lead paint poisoning affects 1 million children today. If you're pregnant or have young children and your home was built before 1978, you could be at risk. Learn how to protect your family. 
To find your home's danger zones, the health effects, or just to find help, log on to leadfreekids.org. Kyle Fossman and Caitlin Zanders are the first ever student athletes to receive the Seawolf Scholarship. The new sports arena, which has been named the Alaska Airlines Center, added a little extra help to the cor corporate partnership. Along with the $1 million endowment, UAA partner Alaska Airlines has given UAA an extra $5.3 million over their five-year agreement to help with the travel and operating, as well as helping with students with academic with the Academy. It means a lot to me because without it, I, it'd be difficult for me to go to school and it gives me a chance to play the sport that I love to play. Two full ride scholarships will be given out each year starting with Xanders and Fossman. Xanders will be one of the first athletes to play in the new sports complex that is under construction and is scheduled to be up and running in August of 2014. A statement released on March 29th confirmed that Coach Shyak will no longer be a part of the Seawolf Hockey Program. A search for a new head coach in progress and the athletic department has appointed a committee to look over national applicants. The hiring process consists of two-week advertisements before applications are reviewed and considered for the 2013 and 2014 season. UAA Athletic Director Steve Cobb wants to ensure that the best possible coach is chosen in a timely manner. Athletes before they, they spread to the four corners of the earth for the summer. It would just be a lot better. Uh, Anytime a job is vacant, a team is like a ship without a rubber, rudder, says Dr. Cobb, so they are looking for a coach as quickly as possible. Find out what the Find out what the buzz is around campus with the new UAA brand name and how students are, can give a little piece of themselves to the community after the break. Just the scariest undead subhuman thing on TV, and I really mean that. <laughs> but I am worried that you could give my kids nightmares if they see you, so I'm going to have to block you. <laughs> so that's it. Oh, and, and tell the zombies they're, they're blocked too. <laughs> Amazing stories being written every day has cost both time and money. According to Kristen DeSmith of UAA Student Advancement, the new campaign continues the old I am UAA and financing had to go to their top priorities. We had a budget of $500,000 this year. Um, th about 300000 of that went into buying our television, radio, print, online advertising for the statewide, because that's the most expensive piece. This has been another Seawolf News update from UAA News. Join us next time to be informed with the events going around campus. Until then, I'm Mac Lyons. And I'm Ashley Snyder. Hey, thanks for stopping by. You know, I've I followed your character since the first episode. I'm a, I'm a big fan, big, big fan. Thank you. And listen, your storyline, it makes for incredible TV drama. Thing is, your drug use is very adult content. Too adult for the kids. So I'm gonna have to block you. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, have a good one. You're a nice lady.